good to see you again. Welcome back to Kids Yoga. And today we're gonna have really fun. We're gonna read a book about the Lion King. So the book we're gonna read today is The Lion King. And look at all those cute animals. So The Lion King is in the safari or the, I think they're in Africa. And so they get to do a lot of moving with a lot of fun animal friends. But before we start, speaking of friends, let's all get our yoga friend at home. So I have my love bear, it says love. And then go ahead and get your yoga friend at home so I can see. Hi! <laughs> Put it really close to the screen. Hi! Good! <laughs> go ahead and give your yoga friend a hug. You guys are being really silly and cute at home. Good. So what is yoga? Yoga is your time to move and feel good about yourself. Aww. You can do yoga by yourself. You can do yoga with your friends. You can do yoga with your family, okay? So we're gonna start with our yoga friend. Let's start by doing our teddy bear nose breath. Why is breathing calmly so important? So that we can find calmness inside. So let's practice that. You're gonna inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. And then we do that calmly. Let's point to our yoga friend. You guys ready? This is always the fun part. Okay, are you pointing to your yoga, yoga friend's nose? Good. Now let's inhale through our nose and point to our friend's nose and bring that nose close to the screen so I can see. Hi, hello, all. And then point to your friend's mouth and you exhale out your mouth and let's go away really far back. Exhale and you walk back. as you inhale through your nose. Hello. <laughs> and point to the mouth. Ready? Exhale. Go back. Nice. Inhale. Where's that cute nose? Hello. <laughs> and exhale out the mouth. You guys are good at this. Nice. Okay. We're going to go ahead from there to our elevator breath. So elevator breath, you want to think about your tummy. Go put your hand on your belly. And then the breath is going to go up and down like an elevator. Let's start with your belly first, and then we're going to move throughout the whole body. You ready? Okay, here we go. Take your yoga friend at the bottom part of your belly, near your belly button. Good. And then we're just going to go to the top of the belly and then come down. Ready? Breathe through your nose. Inhale up. And then exhale down. Good. One more time just for the belly, okay? Inhale up the belly and exhale down the belly. Are you breathing too? Let's do that again. Inhale up the belly, exhale down. Good. Now we're going to step back so I can see you. At least I'm going to step back. You don't have to. We're going to start on the floor near our feet. And then as we inhale, we're going to go up over our head and tippy toes. And then exhale, go down. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Put your yoga front down. Exhale. And then inhale up. Tippy toes. Make your yoga front dance. Good. And exhale, go down. Make your yoga front dance. And inhale, go up. Make your yoga front dance. Now, if you want, you can reach backwards. Whoa. Make your yoga front dance. That's a back bend. Good. And exhale, reach forward. And dance to friends. <laughs> inhale, reach up. Take your legs wide 
and then make your yoga friend sit on one foot. Is your friend sitting on your foot? Aww, can you say hello to your friend there? Hello. Let's try and try the other side. Friend goes up and then down. Let your friend sit on that foot. Aww, and say hello. Hello. Good. Let's do that again. Inhale. And exhale on your foot. Say hello. Hello. And one more time. That friend is really moving. Hello. Good. Okay. Very cool, guys. Let's go ahead and put our yoga friend down. And we're going to start with our book. And I'm super excited, okay? The Lion King. And it says, I am Simba. So Simba is this cute little lion. So let's go ahead and start out with our lion pose. So our lion pose, we're gonna go ahead and come down, you can join me. Come on all fours. And then reach up, roar, and come down. Ready? Roar! Good, I see you! Now that is a big lion. Now let's do a little cute lion because Simba is a baby, right? Let's go ahead. We're gonna just come close to the screen. Ready? Hands here, lower down. Come up. Roar! And come down. And come up. Roar! It's so cute. It's a baby lion. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so this is Simba. It's a baby lion. Start the story. You guys know this story. And here is Simba, and he lives on Pride Rock with his mom and dad. And Simba went out with his friend Nala. Aww. And Simba said, I am brave. And Nala says, I like to go on adventures with my best friend. Let's go on an adventure. Ready? Let's go ahead, come on all fours like a kitty cat. Wiggle our tail, reach our arms and legs out and walk around. Ready? <laughs> and reach your arms and legs stretching. Good, are you a cute kitty cat? Let's walk around, go on an adventure. Where are we going? Can you go walk around the room? <laughs> Are you ready? We're going to go ahead and come up. Roar! Good. One more time. Roar! Good. <laughs> okay. You can keep walking around if you like. And you can decide if you want to be Simba or Nala. So Nala is the cute little girl and Simba's the boy. Uh-oh. On their adventure, they came across hyenas. Oh no, yikes, hyenas, roar, oh no. Okay, so let's be a hyena. What is a hyena? It's kind of like a dog. Let's go ahead and go in dog pose. You wanna go in dog pose? Do that. Let's kick our legs. Let's walk around like dogs. Here we go. Are you walking? <laughs> Good guys. Kick your doggy legs. Good. So there comes some hyenas on the adventure. You're being good hyenas. And then Guess who they come across? Do you remember these friends from the movie? Who are those? 
that is Timon the meerkat and Pumbaa the warthog. And they said, I am so hungry. And they said, you could eat bugs. Ugh. And then they started walking along and became friends. Okay. So we have Timon the meerkat and Pumbaa the warthog. warthog. And they ate bugs. Do you like bugs? I don't like bugs. But bugs are cute. I know we don't like bugs. But some bugs are cute. Let's go ahead and start. So Timon is a meerkat. Let's go ahead and come up and be a meerkat. Can you be a meerkat? Good. Let's do our kitty cat breath. So go ahead and take your kitty cat ears here. Good. Inhale, the ears are up and waving. Good, I see you. And as you exhale, the ears go down. Good. Inhale, ears waving. Exhale, ears down. Now you want to make that fun. Let's go down away from the screen so I can't see you. Ready? Inhale, kitty cat ears up. Wave them up. Good. Exhale, kitty cat ears down. Let's go down. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Inhale, kitty cat ears up. And exhale. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, so that is our, our meerkat. The next one is Pumbaa. Pumbaa is a warthog. Oh, so we got to be a warthog here. Let's go ahead and take our knees bent, take our arms out, and stomp real big and try to be really big. Ready? So let's go ahead and do that. Bend your knees, take your feet out, arms up. Ready? Warthog. <laughs> Good. Now, meerkat. <laughs> Warthog. <laughs> meerkat. Oh, you guys are really good at this. That's really good. That's nice for having fun. And they became friends. And they ate bugs. So what bugs do we know in yoga? We know, hmm, think about it. You think of the bugs that we know, yoga poses? We know the ladybug. Let's try that. So bend your knees, arms come down by your side. Bugs, do we know? There's a pose called dragonfly. Uh huh. And it gets like an airplane. Let's go ahead, reach and stretch your arms out, flying around like a dragonfly bug. Good. Another way to do dragonfly is to bend your knee and take your arms on the floor. You can watch me and copy me, okay? So we're gonna go here, bend the knee. Twist towards that knee. And then twist side to side. Like you're flying. Good. Then from here, this is the baby dragonfly. And then we come up. And they come up dragonfly flying in the air. Oh, you're good at that. Let's try the other leg. Let's go ahead and take one leg forward. One leg back. So we're in a lunge. Ready? And we're twisting. Baby dragonfly. Good. Reach those wings out really long. Ready to take flight? Here we go. Fly, dragonfly. Whoa. Good. You can twist around. You can go up and down. Good. So we have a ladybug. We have 
have a dragonfly. Are there any other bugs that we do in yoga you can think about? Butterfly. Okay, so how do we do that? Do you remember? Yeah, you got it. I see you. We're going to go on the floor, take our feet together and knees out, and wave our butterfly arms, our wings. Ready? Here we go. Feet together, knees out, and then wave huge big butterflies. Good. You got it. Let's go ahead. Reach your butterfly wings up, and then reach forward, come down. Also fly side to side. Oh, that's a good stretch. That's pretty good. You want to twist? Let's go ahead and twist side to side. Good. Okay. Those are some nice bugs. Another one more bug that you may like is our inchworm. So we're going to go on our belly, bend our knees, and inch around. I don't know. Can you do that? Ready? Let's try that. Let's come down. Ready? And bend your knees, and inch forward. <laughs> Good! Marching along, singing songs, and then time goes by, and pretty soon, baby Simba grows up and becomes a big lion. Look at that! Whoa, baby Simba becomes big lion. But he's very relaxed and happy. Everybody is relaxed and happy. They're all relaxed and happy. Good. And then, guess what happened? Simba and Nala fell in love. Aww. So let's go ahead and do our love breath. Take your arms out. You can take your yoga friend with you if you like. I like this one. Good, ready? Put your yoga friend in one hand. Inhale, open up. And exhale, hug. Ah, uh, that's our hugging breath. Good, switch your friend to the other side. This feels good. Inhale, open up. And exhale, hug. Good. Another way to do our love breath is put your hands over your heart right in the center. Good. You can feel warmth in your heart. Inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth and send love out to everyone you're thinking about. Ah, good. One more time. Ready? Hands on your heart. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Ah. Another one we can do is our heart love breath. This is sending loving kindness out. So what is loving kindness? That is kindness and love from your heart that you're sending out to everyone in the world that you think needs it. Ready, hands at your heart. Inhale, ah, and exhale, send that out. 
Good. One more time. Hands at your heart. Inhale. Think about all your friends and family you love and care about. Exhale. Send out loving kindness. Good. Another breath we can do. So they found friends and everything is okay. Right? Remember that breath? Yeah. So everything is okay because they found good friends. Good. So make an okay sign. Good. And we're going to go O, inhale, and K, exhale. You can say okay if you like to. Good. Inhale, O. Exhale, K. Everything is okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. And all of a sudden, they came across Scar. Oh, oh no. You remember that part? And they came across the hyenas. Oh no. They went back to Pride Rock and they said, get away from my family and my land. Remember the monkey? And Simba and Nala are happy again and now they are king and queen on Pride Rock. And remember the beginning when Simba was a baby and the monkey held Simba up? And then they had a baby of their own. Aww. So let's do that. Let's take your yoga friend and pretend this is the lion baby they had, okay? We're gonna go ahead, come down, Curl our toes. Come down. We are on Pride Rock in the cave. Come down. Ready? Come up. Stand up. And present the baby. Good. And we come down. Come down on our knees. Come down back in the cave. Come up on our feet. Let's jump up, take our legs out. Ta-da! There's the baby! Yay! <laughs> Let's do that one more time. That's fun. Take your feet together. Come down. Put your baby on the floor. Bend your knees. Go back in our cave on Pride Rock. Ready? Come up. Take your legs out. Ta-da! Present the baby! Yay! You got it, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. And I'm going to introduce my next yoga friend. This is my alignment bear. Alignment. What does alignment mean? Where you take your arms and legs in a straight line. Good. So your hip, knee, and ankle are in a straight line, and your shoulder, elbow, wrist are in a straight line. Can you do that? Sit like this? Good. You got it. Another way to align yourself is to take your legs and arms forward. Let's do that. So we start out here, and then we come forward. And then open up. So let's do that. Let's put all that together. Start out with your arms and legs out and come forward and down. And open up again. Good. And come forward and down. One more time. Open up. Good, that's good alignment. And come forward and down. Good. Another way to be in alignment is to 
take your body completely straight and let's lay down. You can take your yoga friend with you. Let's lay down with your yoga friend here. Good, I see you. So your legs are in a straight line, your arms are in a straight line, your body's in a straight line. Good. Let's go ahead and come up. Reach your yoga friend to your feet. Make your yoga friend dance. Good. And come back. Keep your arms in a straight line. Whoa. Do it again. Here we go. Come up. Make your yoga friend dance. You got it. And come down. Can we put our yoga friend between our ankles? Now let's bring our legs in a straight line over our head. You want to try that? You can put your arms down to support you. Wow! <laughs> you got it! Let's try that again. Ready? Wow! Good! Are you keeping your legs in a straight line? Good job! Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and come up. Think about what was your favorite so far. I love that story. We're going to move on. And because the Lion King is about animals in the jungle, and those, are, those animals happen to be in Africa, and we're going to go on a safari together. This is a counting safari. Okay, so this family went on a safari together. Look at them. They're all in the Jeep. And they're going in the jungle in Africa, looking at animals. And they're counting. Number one is giraffe. Number one is giraffe. Number two is the wildebeest. Number three is the zebra. Let's do that together. You ready? What was number one? Giraffe, right? Number one was a giraffe. Let's take our yoga friend and let's do a giraffe pose. So we're gonna go ahead and take, I'm gonna take my book with me. Let's go ahead, bend a leg, reach up. Good. And reach down. Bend that leg, reach up. This is a giraffe. Good. Come down, you can straighten that front leg for a stretch. the other side. Bend that leg. Reach up. Long neck like a giraffe. And then straighten that leg and come down. Stretch down. Ready? Bend that knee. Come up. The giraffe has that long neck. Nice. And then straighten that leg and come down. Good. Bend. That was one giraffe. Then they came across two wildebeests. Two wildebeests. We're gonna go ahead and start with that knee bent. Good. Go ahead and reach up and forward. From here, we're gonna go ahead and reach the hand to the floor and reach. Good. And come back. Reach back. Come down to our triangle pose. Hand on the floor and reach forward. Are you a big wildebeest? Good. Come back. Wow, that's a lot of movement. You got it, guys. Use your yoga friend with you. Good. You got it. Let's try the other side. Can you figure that out? Forward triangle pose. Hand to the floor and reach your 
with your other friend. And come back. Good, I see you. Let's try that again. Triangle pose, then reach. That's a big pose for a wilder. Wow, okay. Then number three was a zebra. Let's go ahead. Bend that knee again. Good. And then reach forward. And come back and twist. And reach forward. And twist. Because zebras are stripes. And those stripes go all around the body. So let's make those stripes. We can make stripes go down. And they have stripes up there high. All those stripes. Good. Let's bend the other leg and try the other side. Paint those zebra stripes. Good job, guys. Okay, next. Oh, this one's funny. They come across. Number four number is the ostrich. Oh my goodness. So the ostrich. We're gonna do a pose called dancer pose. Can you do that pose? You can hold your yoga friend if you like. And let's go ahead, reach back for a leg. This is our ostrich. And the ostrich has their head in the ground when they get scared. And then they come up when it's all safe. You wanna do that? Can we do that? Ready? Okay, ostrich pose, lift a leg. Can you show me? You have that leg up? Good, you got it. Now let's come down, whoa. And come up. <laughs> and come down. And come up. That one's really hard. I, I almost fell over, and if you fall over, it's okay. You got it, good. Okay, that was number four. Now number five in their safari is, this is called a bush baby. Oh, it's so cute. Look how big those eyes are. Oh my gosh. These are bush babies, and for the bush babies, they want us to go into our chair pose. These are five bush babies. Ready? So we're gonna go ahead, and they have really big eyes. Take our hands here, and make really big eyes. <laughs> Hi! Now let's go into our chair pose. So you gotta bend our knees, sit back. Put our hands here, and big eyes. And come down. And big eyes. Bush babies are really small, so let's get really low. So hands here, and let's go really low. And big eyes. <laughs> Come down, cute little bush babies. Ready? Big eyes. Oh, you guys, I like that one a lot. Good job. Okay, we're gonna continue to count on our safari. Number six is elephants. And this one, what they want us to do is our legs wider, hands forward, you got it. Elephants. So let's make our elephant trunk and go side to side with our legs wide. Yeah, you guys are already doing it. Here we go. Good. You got it. You wanna go to a circle? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good! Circle the other way, guys! Good! Be careful, don't get dizzy! <laughs> okay, back on our safari. Number seven, there they are still in their Jeep, is the bamboo. Bamboons, bamboons. And this is where you sit down, because you're sitting on a rock, 
in the middle of the woodland. Oh, that's good. You got it. Good. Let's walk around and be a cute little bamboo. So let's go ahead, take your legs wide. Put your hands on prayer. Walk around. <laughs> Two more animals. Number eight is the cheetah. Cheetah. So we're gonna go ahead. Cheetahs are really fast and they have spots. You see the spots? Good. They're really fast and they have spots. So let's go ahead and start on all fours. Good. Now, Think about all the spots you might have in your body because you're a cheetah now. I want you to take your hand and point to a spot. Find any spot on your body and then reach that arm out. And then point to another spot. Reach that arm out. Ready? And point to a spot and reach. Point to another spot and reach. Are you pointing to spots? Are you finding spots all over your body? There's a spot there. There's a spot on your head. <laughs> There's a spot on your ear. Lots of spots. There's a spot on your belly. There's a spot on your booty. <laughs> There's a spot on your nose. You have lots of spots. Very cute. But they're also really fast. They're really, really fast. So let's go ahead and show me your kitty cat ears. And we're gonna do our kitty cat breath. We're gonna move really fast. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's go ahead and start on one side of the screen. Ready? And go fast. Whoa. Ready? Go fast. Whoa. And go fast. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Two more animals. Number nine. Number nine. What is number nine? The jackal. The jackal is like a dog. And they're howling at the moon. So we're going to go in the down dog pose. And then we're gonna howl at the moon. You wanna do that? I like dogs. Are you ready? Let's go ahead, go and down dog, and then come up and howl at the moon. We can put our hands here and go, whoa, and come down and howl. Ready? Okay, down dog. Let's walk around. Down dog, walk around. You ready to come up and howl? Jump our feet forward. Lift up. Whoa. Good. Come down. Jump back. Walk around. Ready? Jump forward. Open your mouth. Whoa. They think they go, oh, oh. Kitty cat is my favorite. Okay, last one. Are you ready for the last one? I wonder what animal they're gonna find on their safari. Hi guys, you ready? Number 10 is the, oh my goodness, the crocodile. So this one, we're gonna go in plank pose. And this is the crocodile. You ready? Okay, so plank pose. You're gonna take your hands on the floor and then on your tippy toes and lay flat. Good! You got it.
So crocodiles have big mouths. So we're gonna open and close our mouths really big. Yeah, I see you, you got it. Okay, ready? Click pose like a crocodile. Let's walk around. Open your mouth. Wow. And close, good. What sound does a crocodile make? I don't know. You can make whatever sound you think a crocodile makes. Open your mouth. Rawr. <laughs> Walk around some more. Ready? Open your mouth. Roar! <laughs> Good job, guys. Oh, so what was your favorite animal so far on our safari? I like all of them. I like the, the dog the best so far. So, that was a lot of fun. And at the very end, very end of their safari, they came across the sleeping lions. Aww, they're all sleeping. Aww. And our story was about a lion. Remember the Lion King? Let's be sleepy lions. Let's go ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and get out my, where's my breathe bear? Oh, here's my breathe bear. Breathe. We're going to breathe and lay on our back like a sleepy lion with the belly rise and fall. And with your friend on your belly, the belly is going to rise and fall as you close your eyes. Oh, that's cute. You got it. Good. As you breathe, your yoga friend goes up as your belly is big. And your yoga friend goes down as you push the air out. And your belly goes down. Good. So relaxing. Push your belly out really big. Yoga friend goes up. Good. Okay, now that we're calm, let's go ahead and go to our next friend, okay? My next friend, you know I have four bears, is my I love nature bear. I love nature and I love my nature. You love nature? Hi! <laughs> So let's go in tree pose. If you love nature, let's go in tree pose. You guys are being really cute. So tree pose, you take your arms out and balance on one leg. Good. Yeah, I see some of you are already hopping. We are going to hop around, okay? Let's go ahead and take your hands in prayer because that is peaceful, okay? And take one leg up. You ready? Good. We're gonna play a game. It's called Yogi Says. <laughs> but it's just like Simon Says. So, you don't do it unless Yogi says so. If Yogi doesn't say so, you don't do it. You ready? Let's go ahead and do our tree pose like I love nature bear. And let's start there. This is our hopping tree game. Ready? Okay, show me your yoga pose, your tree pose. Hands in prayer. Good. Yogi says, take your arms out like a tree. Good. Go ahead and do it because Yogi says so. Yogi says, move your leaves and your branches on your tree. Yogi says, hop forward while you move your leaves and branches. <laughs> Yogi says, stop. Yogi says, hop backwards while you move your, your leaves and branches. Good. Yogi says, stop. Yogi says, switch legs in your tree pose. 
Hop forward, move your arms and branch, your branches and leaves. Did Yogi say so? Ah, you guys are good. Okay, now Yogi says, hop forward, moving your branches and leaves. Oh, you guys are good. <laughs> hop backwards, moving your branches and leaves. <laughs> okay, you are good. Yogi says, hop backwards, moving your branches and leaves. Good job. Good. Yogi says, put your hands in prayer at your heart. Yogi says, put your hands in prayer over your head. Put your hands in prayer at your heart again. Oh, you guys are good. Yogi says, put your hands in prayer at your heart again. Yogi says, switch legs. Switch legs again. <laughs> okay, Yogi says, switch legs again. Yogi says, switch legs. Yogi says, switch legs again. Yogi says, switch legs again. Yogi says, switch legs again. Yogi says, switch legs while you hop forward. Yogi says, switch legs while you hop back. <laughs> switch legs while you hop forward again. Oh, you guys are good. Okay, Yogi says, switch legs while you hop forward again. Good. Oh, that was fun, guys. You guys did really good. You guys, I couldn't get you. Everyone would have been really good. And if you did mess up, it's okay. It's all fun. Aw, uh, that was really fun. So we had fun moving around and reading our book and going on a safari. Let's go ahead and end with our peace breath. Take your hands in prayer. And we're thinking about peaceful thoughts, calmness. And as you inhale, take your hands up in prayer over your head. As you exhale, take your hands in prayer back to your heart. Are you breathing? Are you thinking peaceful, calm thoughts? Let's do that again. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Let's do our hugging breath to ourselves. Arms out, inhale. And exhale, hug. That feels good. Other side. Inhale. Good. Exhale, hug. Aww. Let's do, let's play around with one more breath. Let's do our shoulder roll breath. Remember that one? Take your shoulders and roll forward and back. Now make these shoulders roll really big. So we're going to exhale forward, ah, inhale, roll back, good, outer arms, exhale, inhale, good, let's take our legs out at our body, exhale, inhale, reach back, can you reach really far back?
namaste. What does namaste mean? The spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Yeah. The spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Thank you guys. I had fun today. Next time we'll read another fun story. Do some fun moves. Bye.